Hi there, this is JB for JB Express. Um, first video in a, in a brand new series is want to show you X Pro. Uh, just launched about maybe around about a week ago, just less than a week ago. Quite a lot going on with it, uh, quite a lot of bugs, quite a lot of fixes, but I want to take you through how it looks and what you actually get in the package um, because there's loads and loads of new stuff um, that's recently come out for this. So you'll see the front screen of the launcher. Um, I'm going to go through all of the five and give you a quick overview of each and then I'm going to go into them separately so that you can see exactly what's available in other videos. So first things first, we'll go into theme options. And what you get with theme options is essentially uh, the customizer. So how your customizer works within uh, WordPress, you get exactly the same thing. So you'll get all of the customization options and I'll take you through them just as the um, customizer does. Um, again, this is where you'll do the majority of your layout and design work. It's where quite a lot of the stuff is there in regards to adding pictures and stuff like that. You also get your WooCommerce if you've got it available for you too. So you'll get loads of different options for WooCommerce in there as well. So that is theme options. That again is essentially um, just the customizer view for X as it stands. Um, if we click up here on the hamburger icon, you'll get all of the options that we had on the front screen. Uh, this time I'm going to click on templates and see where this takes us. Okay, so what you get under templates is the ability to set up font templates and color templates for your particular website. So for mine, if I click on colors, uh, mine's set up specifically to the colors that I currently use uh, within the website itself, which is generally black text on back, uh, black ba or white background, I should say. And then, of course, uh, my favorite little a uh, ready pink color that I use for all of my links and all of my boxes so on and so forth. You'll see this all broken down here and I'll show you how to build these again on a separate video. I'm going to go back then now and I'm going to check out content first before we go through headers and footers so we'll just click on that now. Okay so essentially what content does is it brings up every single page that you currently have um, on your website and I have quite a lot because I'm you know, building out a recipe website, so there's tons of it. But essentially, what you can do is choose a um, a page or a thing that you've already got in place, a post you've already got in place, and then directly edit it in Cornerstone. So I'm going to show you that now. So as you can see, it's flipped over into Cornerstone Editor itself in order to continue on with the build. And as you can see, uh, it's now brought up my about page and gives me full um, information related to Cornerstone. I've got access to all my elements, I've got my inspector, I've got my settings, and I've got my main page along with my templates. So really, really quick to get into the Cornerstone editor. Um, we'll tell you more about Cornerstone as we move along within the videos that we've got. Um, now I'm going to move on to the header um, builder. Okay, so this is the header builder. Um, it automatically comes in set up with a default header, which you can edit here. Um, you can also choose templates. So if I choose a hero template, for example, I'll allow it to load. And you'll see it here, it's loaded on in. Um, and it sets us up automatically with a decent enough header for our um, menus and signups. But also because I've chosen the hero, of course, it throws a hero image in, in on top of my website. So that's all quite cool and fully customizable. You just simply name and it'll take you into the editor. So we'll do that first. Now that I've got it, I'll click on edit. And you can see it's built essentially pretty much in the same way that Cornerstone is where we have um, sections followed by rows, followed by elements. In this case, it's bars followed by containers followed by elements. Um, and here's a list of all of the elements that are currently available and we'll go through all of those in a lot more detail as we move along um, with what we're trying to do here. Um, as you can see, bugs still a plenty, but usually it works whenever we press the button again, so don't be worrying if you ever get that. Uh, it again is broken down into the headers that you have, the layout, um, which is what we had just seen, and then the inspector. Um, nothing selected yet, so we'll go in and we will click into container and you can see all of the options then that are available for the container. So we'll go into that in much more detail. Um, we'll do a separate set of detailed tutorials specifically for that, but it's pretty cool. Again, you click on something that automatically shows up in the, in the inspector and you can make a change to it. Same for the menu items, uh, top links, etc, etc. 
And then we go to the footer, which is pretty much exactly the same as the header builder. And uh, we'll click on that now. You can see with the header builder, it uh, it's exactly the same as the footer builder. Um, again, I've already got one set up because I'm trying to build one for my own website now. So we'll just click on edit so that you can see it. And again, you've got all of the different columns that I have built into it. Again, columns and containers, uh, as well as the elements that I have currently built for it. And essentially, these are the columns and uh, really a starting point as far as a footer is concerned, but one certainly that I'll be building onto the website as it stands. And then lastly, uh, we can go back into the home page, which will give us the options again, or we can exit back into the dashboard. So that is um, what we've got for X Pro, and uh, we've done the update. I'm going to start going through each of the different options step by step and giving you some really nice videos that will take you through how things work uh, as well as help you to build uh, some fantastic headers and footers um, for your X websites. So we'll speak to you all soon and I wish you all the best. If you enjoy what you've seen so far then by all means click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell uh, to be given notifications when I upload more videos.